be all right. Everything's gonna be fine. Don't worry. Now, turn over. I need the medicine. You can have it when you've finished. I can't operate. I need it now. Give it to him. He's no use to us dead. No, the usual. Another senator skipped bail and there's a stage five pollution alert. <coughs> Here, Mom, drink this. It'll make you feel better. How'd you make out? Well, the drugstores were robust. They picked up something at that market. How are you feeling? A little better. Bandages, sulfur, morphine syrups. Not bad. About the megacillin. Well, there's a shortage. I couldn't get any. Sorry. You will be sorry if we all catch this. It'll spread fast down here. Well, we just have to stay healthy until we can find some. I'll get it. I've got a contact at Metro Hospital. Katie, you ought to pay your bill. Hey, I need my welfare check. How come I didn't get it? I don't know. I hear the welfare department's on strike. Most of it, because that's all there is. Hey, honey, 
Maybe we could go dancing under the stars. How about that? Huh? Just you and me, kiddo, under the stars. Yeah. Four seven six three West Friendly North Quadrant three. I'm having an attack. Hello, I'm Doctor Justain. How long have you had this ulcer? Forever. Well, Should have come in sooner. I didn't think it was this bad. I think the ulcer's perforated. Oh. Is that Kate Barrows? Yes, what's her status? Zero. Her insurance ran out on her 60th birthday. No living relatives. Doctor, what's going to happen to me? you got to help me. I can't operate without insurance. It's against the law. I'm sorry. But we'll make you as comfortable as we can on the fifth floor. It's growing. I think the implant is taken. You think? I told you we should have done this at our own base. We don't have the right equipment, and we need the doctor's knowledge of human anatomy. We could have cloned him. He's old and sick. He wouldn't have survived the process. <laughs> Something's wrong. He's rejecting the implant. We'll lose the seed. <laughs> No, it's too late. Excuse me, I'm looking for Dr. Justine. Could be anywhere. Get Dr. Justine to a nothing. Now! Kincaid, it's Harrison. I'm at the hospital. Get over here. Nurse, I'm in terrible pain. Could you give me something for it? There's not enough to go around. And, and you're not due till 10. I can't stand it. Please. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Thank you, nurse. Don't tell anybody about this. I could get fired. No. My name's Kate Barrows, number 938. 5541D, but my insurance expired. I know. I wish I could do something for you. I really do. You're a sweetheart. I guess you never heard of Champagne Katie, did you? 
that was me. I used to do exotic dancing. Oh, n n nothing vulgar, nothing vulgar, mind you. I was the toast of the town. <laughs> I was. I guess seeing me the way I am now, that must be kind of hard to imagine. No. No, it isn't. So this is where it all ends. It's interesting. This is how they treat their old and diseased. They abandon them like so much refuse. This one might be suitable. I think you might be right. Excuse me. Do you think you could get word to Dr. Jestane to come and see me here? I know he'd help me if he could. I'll see what I can do. It's my fault for being so complacent. You see, I thought you were the best in your field. That was a long time ago. You lost one of the two seeds. I carried out the implant under your instructions. It'll work next time. What do you mean, next time? Failure wasn't part of the deal. I found a new host. A woman. One implant. That was our deal. Then you'd give me all the medicine I need. One successful implant, Doctor. No. I won't do that to another human being. Not even for this. All right. But next time, we'll do it my way. This is a surprise. Emil, you're not looking so good. What's the matter? Well, this place is bad for your health. What are you doing here? I came here to score some mega cylinder from you. Try the black market. We're out. Emil, I saw something happen in the corridor. What'd you see? I saw a man's back explode. What happened? What have you been drinking? All I got was a report on some patient with a ruptured appendix. People die around here all the time. Not like that, they don't. I'll make out a prescription for your mega cylinder. See the nurse. Harrison! What's up? I'll tell you. On the way to the morgue. What? Come on. You're gonna help me, aren't you, Dr. Justine? I knew you would. Somebody must have paid my bill. You're a good man, Dr. Justine. Everything's gonna be all right, Kay. Oh, good morning. Just relax, Kay. Everything's gonna be all right. Oh, God. I hate these places. By the time you're in one, you won't care anymore. Here, take this. We're looking for a ruptured appendix. So what about this Justine character? He's a surgeon. He must have been one of the top men in his field. How the hell did he end up in this sinkhole? He was head of the medical team that went into the Georgetown epidemic. I 
remember that. Yeah, I remember. Ministry engineered some kind of virus for chemical warfare and it got loose, except they never admitted it. Yeah. I didn't even tell him. The poor guy was working in the dark. All his patients died. Would make a man kind of bitter. Yeah, destroyed him. Oh, here we are. This is it. alive. It's what I was afraid of. It's a mutant combination of human and alien cells. They've succeeded in combining cell structures. Give me the sure form. They're trying some kind of breeding, aren't they? It's not the first time. They've tried before and failed. It's some kind of transgenetics. They try to graft their genetic material onto ours. If they succeed, they can start farming human beings like animals, using us as some kind of breeding ground to create more of their own kind. Oh, how are you feeling, Kate? I feel wonderful. What did you do to me, Doctor? Well, first off, I repaired that nasty outfit. Oh, what's that? All right, let me do it. Doctor? She's fine. Everything's just fine. Hey, now why don't you eat something? Oh, my. Who's paying for all this? I don't have any friends who would... But you do, Kate. So, what am I looking for? Probably someone connected with Justain. A transient. Someone that nobody cares about. Gives you a lot to choose from, doesn't it? It's taken hold. It's grown four centimeters. This is excellent, Doctor. Excellent. What are you talking about? What's grown? Did my ulcer come back? No, no. Kate, these are special research scientists and obstetrics. Obst what do I need with a baby, doctor? You're pregnant, Kate. Oh. There are two heartbeats on the monitor. One is yours and one is your baby's. Oh, what are you talking about? I couldn't be pregnant. Listen carefully, Kate. We did a surgical implant, an experiment. It's impossible. Huh? Why? It was my decision, Kate. These scientists are from the Federal Research Foundation. And had they not paid for your operation, you would have died. But you had to do something for them in return. Baby. Oh. A baby? Chart on barrels, Kate Barrows, shift load. Here it is. Everything okay? Oh, fine. I'll just hang on to this for now. And she'd have no visitors, no one at all, without my permission. Oh, by the way, I issue an announcement that room 7N is off limits to all personnel indefinitely. We've had a chemical spill. Yes, Dr. Justine, right away. How's it going? Oh, fine. Oh, could you tell me how to enter a transfer from the emergency room to the fifth floor? Oh, hit control F5. I haven't seen you around before. It's my first day.
doing here? I heard this is a good place to do research. What do you mean? Oh, genetic experiments. Human beings as guinea pigs. Does that sound familiar right now? Get out. You know what's going on. What the hell has happened to you? I'm doing here what I couldn't do in Georgetown. I'm saving lives. Yeah, like the man with the ruptured appendix. Christ, Emil, I was there. I know what happened to him. You stay out of it. You don't know what you're dealing with. What kind of hold do they have on you? Just tell me. Leave me alone. Emil! Emil, I'm going to give you a number. I want you to call me. If you want to talk. There's a relay on it, so you can't be traced. What gives you the right to be so superior, Whitefoot? I come down here every stinking day of my life to fight a war against rape, murder, disease, and despair. You're right about one thing, Emil. It is a war. The only trouble is that you're on the wrong side. Big. I look like I'm six months gone. Is something wrong? It's perfect. Oh, I still can't believe it. If they told me that I could never have children, all my life I wanted a baby. Do you think she'll look like me? I don't know if it is a girl, but... If I have a little girl, I'm going to name her Evelyn after my mother. <gasps> it's going into the second phase. It's growing even faster than we hoped. It's too soon. It's not time. Don't worry. It's coming to perfection. Her paperwork stops at the fifth floor, but she's not there. And her chart was taken by Emil Justine. Hospital is a big place. We can't cover it all. Well, Justine made some comment about a chemical spill in room 7N. They've posted it off limits, and there are security guards in the corridor. It would be my guess that something big is in the works. Justine has assigned another doctor to handle his patients. And he suddenly booked himself a vacation, starting tonight. They're moving her. We're going to have to find out when and how. I'm going to have to go back in there. Take this. What's happening? Where are you taking me, doctor? Hush. We're taking you to a wonderful place where you and your baby can be together. Oh. We're close to our goal, doctor. I can't. I need the medicine. Now, come. Is my baby going to be all right, Dr. Justine? Hush, hey, everything's going to be fine. East Wing ambulance entrance now, and Harrison, she's pregnant. Now they'll kill her. 
Prepare a watcher to search for the woman. I don't know how they found us unless it was through him. It should have been performed in our own compound, in our own way. We have not lost yet, Mana. <laughs> Who are they, Gestain? And where did they take the seedling? I don't know. No, you can't. You need me. Give me the medicine, please. I'll give you the man who took him. Blackwood. Harris Blackwood. Hello, Kate. How are you feeling? Who are you, people? Don't be frightened. We're your friends. It's okay, Kate. Why are you doing this to me? Relax, we're not gonna hurt you. Hey. Stay here, baby, please. If you're all right, it's gonna be all right. Kate! Kate, try to relax. It's okay, Kate. We're only trying to help you. No, no, please no, no, try no, and stop no. struggling. Get her leg! Nothing. We know they're hiding under the city. And we found the ambulance in the fourth quadrant. The watcher has been programmed accordingly. It's only a matter of time. There is no time. There's nothing we can do about it now. Yes, there is. Spit it out, Kinky. In the pregnancy now. I don't know that we can. That could kill her. That's a chance we're gonna have to take. That thing inside her has to die. It represents a process that... Honey, go back to your room. Why? I know what's going on. Don't you understand? We may be witnessing the whole alien future focused in one event. If we can unlock the secret... I understand. It's very simple, isn't it? They create our spring and we die. No. That infant is our link to any real success against them. Now, I need to see what's going on inside that body. something more we can do. The Watcher will find the seedling. This was too risky. Seeds of the Eternal entrusted to human hosts, one dead and now another missing. I trust the Eternal to guide his own. You should do the same. It's found her. Quadrant 9, excellent. I never thought it would be like this. It's so magical. Life growing inside of me. But you're a mother. You know what I mean. Yes, I know. But, Kate, you've got to try to understand. Dr. Justine chose me. Me. To have this special baby. He's a wonderful man. Hey, have you figured out if it's going to be a girl or a boy yet? I'm not sure, Kate. Oh, but it's a baby. And it's mine. So what is it? I don't know. Could be human. I doubt it. I, I need to see my doctor. Get, get me to my doctor, please. Kate, he's not helping you. You've got to see that. Why are you doing this to me? Why? I only want to have my baby.
no one's got this number. I gave it to Emil just then. Might as well have put it in the alien yellow pages. Yes, sir. Harrison, we gotta talk. Go ahead. You were right about them. I want to help. Well, Emil, we need all the help we can get. Tell me where you are. No. You meet me in the corner of Court and Charles in ten minutes. Let's go. Why? Because we're going to need him. Emil, we don't have much time. Harrison, don't go. We've got to talk. Remember the Georgetown epidemic, Harrison? Yes, I do. Drink of water, please. Kate. Yes. They're healing me, Harrison. They can do it one instant. What I failed to do in three years. They've got medicine. That... Look at you, Emil. Does it look like you're being healed? They're using you. Harrison, you see, we have a relationship. I have to do what they say. It's not worth it. No matter what they're offering, the price is too high. I've got to go. I can't stay. Damn it, Emil! Emil! Harrison, get down! <laughs> to get us out of the shelter. Come on. Thank you so much. You're such a kind person. I know you would never hurt me. Do you know, I feel ever so much better now. I think that... This machine did it. It took all my pain away. It's wonderful. <laughs> oh. Oh. It is my own damn fault. She completely caught me off guard. Why would she do a thing like that? She thinks we're threatening her child, really. She thinks it was your child. What would you have done? Exactly the same thing. Harrison, she is out there by herself. You're not going to go anywhere. This time we do it my way. We bring her back here and we eliminate that thing that's inside her. First, we're going to help her because she's a human being.
Yes? Put it through. You gotta help me. Keep, keep, keep calm. Where are you? Bring the tree marker. Stay right where you are. I'll be able to get you. She could be anywhere. Unless they found her already. We have the woman. Is there a problem? Jeez, it's spinning fast. The Mets are not controlling it. You're building a tolerance. We had a deal. You said you'd cure me. That's what you wanted to believe. We had no way of knowing how it would affect you. It can't be synthesized, can it? No, it can't. You should be glad for the moment we gave you. You butchers! Backward, you were right. I let you use my patients and my hospital because I believed you would cure me. You made me an accomplice to mutilation and murder. You begged us for your life and we gave it to you. It was our agreement. Do you want to end it? Do you? Come, she waits. All right, she couldn't have come this far. How do you know? How do you know what that alien thing can do to a person? Why the hell are we taking a tour of the city? She only cares about one thing, the baby. There's only one place she'd go. Just stay. Hold on. The hospital's on the other side of town. Cut her open. No, I can't. I won't. It's not right. We can't afford to wait any longer. Cut her open. Do it. No, I won't do it. No. Do as it's I not say. A... No. Let him do it his way. Push, Kate. Push. Stay with me. I can't. I can't. Not anymore. They picked up a tail. Where the hell did they come from? I'll lose it. It's crowning. I can see it. They're still with us. Let the pull alongside. You got it. What are you waiting for? Shoot! Shoot! The baby. I got it. What have I done? Oh, I see my baby. Where's my baby?
I've got a surprise for you guys. Hit the black market. Medical supplies are flowing again. Kincaid. I know. We'll get another chance, Harrison. We lost the battle, not the war. Hold the firstborn 